In this video, I want to discuss and stress the importance of always reading the specifications on a job and also of reading the plan notes. Now here we see a page of electrical specifications and I gotta admit it, this is pretty boring stuff. Some of these things are just boilerplates that they throw on every estimate, but it's really important, it's critically important to, to um, read these and understand them. Now, again, like I said, a lot of them are just general, okay, and they don't really apply, or or I shouldn't say it that way. I should say they apply to every job. They'll talk about, um, you know, keeping up the quality on a job and cleaning up your mess. But I'm going to talk about real specific things that really impact the price here. So I'm just going to blow this up a little bit. Okay, see this section 16050, there I have it the right size. So see how it says in case all conductors in a continuous raceway system provide pull and junction boxes as required by NEC. Now that's not actually the one I was gonna go for, but these are talking about the basic materials and methods. Let's jump down here to PVC. Look at here. This is important to know for estimating a project. PVC conduit may be used underground or below concrete slabs. Look at this. Provide coated rigid steel elbows for all elbows where PVC is used. That's super important because those PVC coated rigid elbows when you get up in two, three, and four inch can be a lot of money. Okay, so I think I've stressed the point enough. I don't need to go over these point by point, but they're full of information as an electrical estimator that you need to know so that you estimate it correctly. You don't make mistakes and leave things out. Now, I'm going to show you something else. Red Rhino estimating software provides you with a spec read sheet, and I'll show you what I mean in the next screen. But before I go on, I want to explain something. It might take you an hour, an hour and a half, or even two hours, depending on the size of the job. If it's a huge job, it might be three hours, okay? But to read the specifications. So that's what I want to say. It just takes time, but it's well worth it because you'll estimate accurately once you know what the conditions or specifications are. Okay, now to the next screen. I just want to explain that Red Rhino, if you if you do the 30-day trial, if you sign up for the 30-day trial, if you're a Red Rhino customer, there's a lot of forms available to you that you can print out and use. They have both forms in PDF and Excel spreadsheet formats, a lot of them. Now, here's a, sp a specification checklist. This is where you go through the specifications and you make notes in here about it. So at the top, it just says date and bid date, job, the spec reader, which is you, right? This is just some, a form you fill out. Square footage and the finish, start and finish dates, okay? Now, just reading down here, I'm just going to kind of jump ahead. You can see this for yourself and print it out for yourself. Again, if you do the trial, if you're a Rhino customer, see it says minimum conduit size. A lot of times you might bid jobs where three-quarter is the minimum size. So it asks for overhead um, minimum size and underground. Sometimes you'll find that in underground projects, they don't allow anything less than one inch PVC. So it's important to know these things. And when you fill out these forms, you're actually going to fill it out and circle things to determine um, just a quick glance. And then the rest of your team, if there's other people team estimating the same project, at a glance, everyone can look at this and know um, that uh, what the specifications are. Here's one EMT fitting. It's die cast set screw or set screw steel. It's die cast weatherproof, which is your compression. Sometimes, uh, especially when you're bidding government jobs, city, state, government, federal, um, they require um, compression fittings. And then these are insulated throat, okay? So if, if insulated throat is required, you need to know that there's a price difference, right? So uh, I, don't, I, won't, I won't cover all the items here, but again, I'll just scroll down. On some jobs, MC cable is not allowed. So you just circle yes or no, okay? And uh, here's the if yes, HR stands for home run. Are home runs and MC cable allowed? And so you just fill this out accordingly. Here, here's ST flex, that means seal tight flex, okay? 
Uh, sometimes they require it for indoor connections as well as outdoor, okay? So I, again, I won't go off over everything here, but here's some stuff about concrete encasement. It asks if everything's required or utilities are required, parking lot lighting or other things. Uh, slurry fill, here's one, if you have to cut or haul off asphalt or concrete or patch it, see that? So see how this uh, ground rod, standard chemical or vaults, okay? Um, painting conduits, fire alarm conduits. Oftentimes you'll be required to paint fire alarm conducts, cor conduits. Of course, nowadays you can just purchase it. But if this is circled, you'd know that all the fire alarm cable has to be red, okay? And so on. So let me just scroll down so you can see it. Look here, temp power, yes or no. So if you have to fill out, uh, if you have to provide temporary power, you need to know what. O&M manuals, operations and maintenance, that stands for. A lot of times you have to provide those. How many, it asks here. There's an expense to that. So if, you have to if you're required to provide operations uh, and maintenance manuals, you'll probably, in, as an estimator, add dollars for that in your expenses, okay? And so on. Down at the bottom, you can make notes and notes about the bid or what the bid is. And that's what I wanted to show you in this video, the importance of reading your specifications, and then using this checklist just as a quick reference to um, what's required in certain projects. Hope that helps you estimate more accurately and faster. Take care.